everyone welcome back to another culinary series please don't forget to like share subscribe add to any information that i've given because i never exhausted this because with research new information is being produced every day and it, you you never stop learning so i welcome you to another culinary series and don't forget to check out my store um, to see the new items I have there. And I also have face masks and a donation from the purchase is sent to a worthy cause for the face mask. So today I'm gonna to be talking about star anise. Star anise, it's a spice. It's used in Chinese, Vietnamese, um, Indian, uh, cuisine and also Middle Eastern cuisine. I actually discovered star anise when I was in the Middle East and the name is fitting. So this is how it looks. It's shaped like a star and it has little pods in it like seeds. So star shaped and it smells like licorice uh, or licorice, however you pronounce it. Licorice, licorice. Um, so, and it smells like um, licorice as well, licorice. So it enhances the flavors of soups and broths and curries. So it's a flavor enhancer and it's, it's, it's very beneficial. Let me see if I can get the seed out. So the seed fell. So maybe you can't see. So this is the seed. And you can use the whole thing. You can even bake with it. You can make your tea. You can, just like how you make your normal tea, you can actually make tea with star anise. Now star anise is a powerful antioxidant. It has very good antioxidant properties and research has shown that star anise it reduces tumor size so if you have cancer it's saying that research has shown where it has reduced the tumor size and it can help to reduce your risk of cancer star anise also is skin healthy bone healthy it contains calcium and we all know calcium is good for your teeth and your bone it's good for your skin again because of the antioxidant properties but when i use star anise i make the tea with it or sometimes i'll just um, put it in hot water let it cool and i put it in the fridge and i'll drink it cold because i rather have it clean me from within to without as opposed to just making a mask and put it on my skin or making a spritz and spray it on my skin so i prefer to drink petite so it has a good source of vitamin b's mostly the riboflavin and niacin riboflavin is riboflavin is good for your nervous system and the niacin is good for energy it can help to convert the carbohydrates to give you the energy that you need it's also good in helping with the production this is the niacin also helps with the production of serotonin which is that feel-good hormone that i mentioned in some of my culinary series where after a good workout or any activity that you've done and you feel so satisfied serotonin has been released and it's also good for the formation of adrenal hormones and it also helps to control the blood sugar level because it helps in the conversion of the carbohydrate to provide energy for us. It's good in reducing the symptoms of if you have a cold or if you have a flu, if you have a cough, it can help to reduce the severity of these symptoms and it can also help to reduce the severity of bronchitis. It's rich in vitamin A and as mentioned before, it has a good source of vitamin C and it has antioxidant properties. So with these combined, it helps to boost your immune system. 
it also is good for your vision because of the vitamin A. It's um, it has antifungal properties. It can fight against a yeast infection. And there's a study that shows that it kills bacteria, especially the E. coli. But unfortunately, it's slow acting, so it was not as effective in killing the E. coli at a sufficient enough rate combined to other antibiotics that have been used. It has um, antifungal, antiviral, um, other antibacterial properties, but there was one study that showed that the star anise was effective against 67 drug resistant strains of bacteria. So there's an actual study out there that showed this. Now, um, star anise helps to reduce anxiety because it has anethole compound. So this anethole compound is what gives this star anise the licorice flavor and that gives it its antimicrobial property as well. Now, star anise also contains shikimic acid. Shikimic acid is a powerful antiviral um, compound and the shikimic acid is found in Tamiflu. So what they do, um, scientists um, produce what we call Oseltamivir from the shikimic acid and it is the Oseltamivir that's found in Tamiflu but it was produced from the shikimic acid. And some study, though the study wasn't long enough, showed that um, the shikimic acid can help to treat um, herpes simplex. Star anise is also good for your digestive health. So if you have um, stomach pain, if you have cramps, if you're bloating, if you have gas or indigestion or constipation, you can make the tea, star anise tea, and you can drink that and it can help. I don't like rice and I had rice last night because I didn't want to throw it away. And whenever I have rice, I feel bloated. So I'm definitely gonna have some star anise tea um, today because I, I hate to feel bloated. So these are um, all I have. Another thing with star anise, if you, it, it can help to give you that youthful, tight, firm skin because it boosts collagen production and research has shown. So star anise can improve and boost collagen production, which is what gives you that firm, tight, toned looking skin. So thank you for watching my video. This is all I have on star anise. Wonderful spice, very good health benefits. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next culinary series. Don't forget to check out my store. Thanks again and God bless.